Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add related products on your product page on Shopify. And there are many different ways to go about doing this. There really is a lot of use cases for adding related products, whether you want to just add a few related products to your product page, or if you want to create a complete the look, or you may also like, there's really a lot of different ways that you can utilize this Shopify technology on your product page. And you also don't need to do any kind of code, and this is all completely for free in your Shopify store. So how do you do this? What is it going to look like? So just to show you a couple of quick examples, first, of course, Course, there's a lot of different ways that you can implement this technology on your Shopify store but as you can see here we have this element here showing related products um, now there's a few different ways you could orient this as well of course you can do related products as you can see here on this example we're utilizing watches showing maybe a few other watches that people could purchase from your store alternatively you can also utilize this section here which I'm also going to be showing you how to do for related products on your Shopify store as well. This is the related products section as well as the complementary product section. Now to give you a few other examples on other stores, other e-commerce stores, as you can see here on Gymshark, they have multiple different color options. This is maybe if you want to create separate product listings for each different color that you have on a given product on your Shopify store instead of creating variants. This is sort of an alternative way to do that while still making it very prevalent for your customers to be able to view those other variations of a product. In this example, of course, we're dealing with watches. Uh, in this example is fitness Gymshark leggings, women's leggings. So as you can see, they have multiple different color options. That's another way you could utilize this technology. Uh, alternatively, you can also create a wear it with section. So for the complementary products, maybe if you are selling some sort of sweatshirt or something, maybe you want to also say, hey, wear it with this, the complementary products, right? You can also include that in that widget there. Maybe if you want to uh, recommend some pants, maybe some jeans could go well with this sweater or maybe some boots or maybe another sweater. Maybe you wear it with two sweaters, right? Maybe it's really cold out. <laughs> uh, and then on this store, as you can see here, you can also show show also available in. That's another piece of text you could use. Uh, very similar to Gymshark where they have it in different colors. Uh, you can create a separate product listing for your variants if, if that's how you want to go about doing things. And you can link to them here in this widget. Alternatively, this Farfetch store also shows it in the whole kind of like complete the look type of setup where you have a for you section with maybe some shoes and some sweatpants. And uh, in addition to the shirt, that that you're already showing on this product page. So that's what I'm showing you how to do in today's video. Of course, there's a lot of different ways that you can implement this. Now, one thing that you do need to install on your Shopify store in order for this to work to, before we dive into things, you do need the Shopify search and discovery app on your Shopify store. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. You can check out that first link. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to a Shopify Shopify free trial. We're going to start with Shopify for free today. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. And without further ado, of course, once you have the Shopify search and discovery app installed in your Shopify store, again, this is a completely free app that you can add to your Shopify store. Once you've done that, then now, of course, again, you already have your Shopify store as well. Then you're gonna log into the Shopify dashboard. So once you have added the search and discovery app on your Shopify store, once you've installed it, then it will appear here in the app list. I would recommend pinning it just so that it's easy to access. Uh, but once you have installed that, the search and discovery app, uh, I'll leave a link as well in the description box below to this app. Again, this is completely free to install. It's made by Shopify. Uh, and this is how you can add the related products and these custom product recommendations on your Shopify store. So once we are now in the Shopify dashboard, again, you've installed the search and discovery app, then what you're going to do is click on search and discovery. Now, there are a few things that we do need to do on the online store in order for everything to show up properly. And we're going to be walking through a couple of examples here in today's video as well. So once you have that, then you're going to come over here Underneath search and discovery, you're going to come over here to view recommendations. Alternatively, you can also select recommendations from this sidebar here. 
and this is the product recommendation section where you're going to be adding those complementary products and related products on your Shopify store. Now, before we get into adding these complementary products, related products, and editing the way things look, you do need to also go into your online store and add the complementary product block. So we're gonna be doing that now, uh, as well as you do need to be using the newest up-to-date Shopify themes in order for this to work as well. Now, currently on this online store, I am using the Dawn theme from Shopify. Again, that's a free Shopify theme. There's a bunch of different free Shopify themes that you can use that all effectively use the same online store 2.0 technology and will work with this setup as well to get your product uh, related products showing. So what you need to do is you come over here to the green button and select customize. So by default, the um, product section with the complementary products will not show up by default. So that's what we're going to add here. Now I have already added it to this store. Uh, as you can see here, you scroll down, you see the related products. That's what I've titled it. Uh, but all you have to do is come over here and click add block. So we're going to go ahead and delete the complementary uh, product block because that by default uh, is not there. So you won't see this. Uh, I've just already added it to this store, but we're going to add it back again right now, just showing you step by step exactly how to do it from scratch. So you come over here once you now we can go from mobile. We'll go to desktop view as well. Um, but basically you come over here and in the top area by default you'll probably be set to the home page you're going to want to make sure that you click up here in this little drop down select products and then select default products uh, this will take you to the overall default product template for your shopify store just to make that clear in case you weren't automatically put to the product page there so make sure you select that here so you're on the actual product page. Next, you're gonna come over here to the left-hand side and underneath template. You're gonna scroll down. This is within the product information tab. We're gonna click add block. Once you click add block, then you will see the theme block complementary products. Now again, this won't show up unless you've already installed the Shopify search and discovery app. Once you've done that, then you can select the complementary product block and that will then be displayed in the product information section. Now, personally, um, I like to, I, you know, I like to have that a little bit higher. Of course, you can do whatever you want as far as wherever you want this located. I like it really like right above the description even, um, just to make it more visible to customers when they're on your Shopify store, right underneath the buy button. You can also have pairs well with, so you can actually also customize this as far as the overall look and feel of how this will display on your Shopify store. So to edit that, you just click on complementary products. You can change out the heading to pairs well with, um, you know, so we'll leave it with that. Or you could even do something like also available in, um, wear it with the, the whole complete the look type style. You know, you can go with really whatever tickles your fancy, uh, whatever you like there for the heading. We'll stick with pairs well with, that is the default one. Um, for the complementary products. So next you can scroll down here. Now you can set this as a collapsible row as well if you want. Again, there are a lot of really custom options in here that you can feel free to play around with yourself uh, if you want to, you know, just to change how things look. We're gonna kind of stick with a more or less default look. Um, just for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, you can also add like pagination as well. If you want multiple pages of products, you can add up to a 10. You can show up to 10 um, if you want uh, as well. So, you know, you can select, uh, it will show pagination if you only have one product per page, as you can see here, uh, number of products per page one, and then it adds the little pagination. So if you want people to be able to scroll through something, uh, you could also have the little dots maybe if you want them to just be able to more visually see that. Now, currently this is really all the settings that they have available in the complementary products block. I'm sure Shopify will probably add more additional settings in the future, uh, but this is what you can add by default with the app. So we're gonna stick to three uh, products per page to show the multiple uh, different complementary products. And you can also add a quick add button as well if you want that kind of uh, functionality on there as well. If you just want people to be able to click add to cart right there or choose options, we're going to uh, deselect or, you know, unselect that as well, uh, just for the sake of this tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and click save. Now, now that you've added the complementary products block, 
Now, that is the only one that you have to manually add and select where you want it to appear. The you may also like is the technically the related products or the product recommendations block um, as well that comes with the Shopify search and discovery app. So this is product recommendations. Now, if you're curious where that by default, it will likely be all the way down here at the bottom under add section. Uh, it will be all the way down there. Um, the product recommendations. Uh, section, but you can feel free to move it however you want. You know, again, by default, it'll probably be kind of towards the bottom. Uh, you know, you could move it up on your product page, really wherever you want. You could even have it at the at the very top. I don't necessarily recommend that, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and stick it right here, um, right underneath the general uh, product information section. We have product recommendations. Now, again, there's a few different things you can edit here as well. You can get into the specifics of you may also like, or maybe if you just want it to be uh, uh, related products, you could type, type that there as well. So we're gonna leave that as default as well, but that product recommendations, uh, you know, again, should already be added as far as where it appears. You can move it up and down on the page. So now that we've added the theme settings, now everything should be appearing in the right places. Now to actually make it technically work and function on your Shopify store. So this is like kind of the second half of this tutorial. So once you've added everything on your online store, then we can come back to the search and discovery app. Now that everything is properly added to your online store so that everything will appear, um, properly. Now we're going to come down to view recommendations under customize recommended products so that we can actually add these related products uh, to show across different products on your Shopify store. So we've already added, uh, as you can see, the watches just as a quick example. We're going to go ahead and add some more recommendations here. So all you have to do to add your related products and your complementary products, you're going to click add recommendations. Now we're gonna be using some clothing as an example here. So we're gonna be selecting the shirt as the main product. So we've added the shirt. And of course you can do this for any products on your Shopify store. Now by default, it will create some odd auto-generated products. I would typically recommend making sure that you hide these auto-generated recommendations. Maybe these will get better over time. Maybe it's just because I don't really have a whole lot of collections on this tutorial store. Um, that's why it's giving sort of weird auto recommendations, but you can create exactly what you want for those recommendations on every specific product in your store. So to add the complementary products, maybe to complete the look uh, or pairs well with, then all you have to do is click browse and we're gonna do a beanie and some jeans. Let's say that's kind of uh, goes well with that look. Uh, so we're gonna add that there. And now these complementary products will be listed on the shirt page. Uh, and then related products, you can also uh, add these here as well. Maybe if you just want to show other clothing, uh, maybe if you want to show the shirt again, you could. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can also add them there as well. These are two different blocks, but this is how you edit them. If you're adding them uh, in the recommendations, the product recommendations, this is where you edit the actual products that will appear in these blocks and sections on your Shopify store. So we're gonna go ahead and click save. So now that the shirt one has been added, we're going to actually go to the shirt on the Shopify store, go to catalog, we're gonna go down to the shirt. And as you can see, now you have pairs well with the beanie and the jeans. So that's how you do the whole complimentary setup. Uh, and then you also have, you may also like. So this is custom to every single product you add here in your Shopify store. Now, when you're adding related products, it does automatically, if you go to the beanie, um, add in just like you may also like from the standard products. So you're gonna wanna make sure, of course, that you go in and edit each one so that you actually have things recommended based on the related products that you want. Because by default, it's going to auto-generate things um, for your store. Now, if you're properly adding in the right kind of tags and collections, uh, Shopify will do a better job of auto-recommending products on different product pages. But if you just want full flexibility and customization, uh, I would definitely recommend just, just adding everything in here into the search and discovery app. It may take you a bit of time, but it's gonna end up coming out a lot cleaner and sort of like what I did with the watch page on this tutorial, as well as showing you the beanie and the jeans. 
underneath the pairs well with or the you may also like section. So that's how you do it. In my opinion, this is a really great way to display additional products on your Shopify store as well. Uh, you know, how to add your related and recommended products. It my opinion it looks really nice nice and professional especially on this page here uh, and that that's pretty much how you do it of course you can edit things however you like if you want things to also be available in you know complete the look um, adding maybe just different colorways of different products there's a lot of different ways you can implement this technology uh, but that is how you do it on your Shopify store so guys I hope you found this tutorial helpful uh, if you did be sure to smash that like button hit the subscribe button as well and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video but anyway guys that is all for today's video and one last thing for those of you guys who may be having trouble uh, with this setup do make sure that your products are counted as far as inventory if you don't have any in stock it will not appear in either of these sections so make sure that your products are actually in stock this is a good thing in case maybe you run out of stock it won't display it if there's none in stock so just want to give that little quick disclaimer at the end there uh, in case you're running into that issue uh, by doing this but that's pretty much it for today's tutorial guys again if you don't already have a Shopify store you can go and check out that First link down in the description box below, that's brandonvalesi.com forward slash Shopify that will take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We're going to start with Shopify for free today. Again, guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, be sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, so I will see you in the next one. Peace out.